Hello, this is Greg Ligon, and I'm here live at Catalyst 2009 with my good friend Dave Ferguson from Community Christian Church. Uh, Dave was one of the first, and Community Christian was one of the first churches we worked with in our leadership communities for multi-site churches back five or six, seven years ago, and they just continue to grow and accelerate uh, their work in multi-site. And so we're here today just to get a little bit of an update on what's going on at Community Christian in terms of multi-site. Dave, tell us a little bit about kind of what the latest is. Um, I'd say one of the latest things that's happened with us in regards to multi-site is we had a situation where about a year ago we brought all of our campus pastors in and they were kind of giving us their key objectives for the next year. And we got about halfway through all of them. And, I mean, if you're in a community, I mean, everything's about reproducing. Reproducing leaders, artists, coaches, teams, campuses, churches, networks, everything's about reproducing. But they're giving us their key objectives for the next year and nobody's talking about reproducing the campuses. And so we just called a quick timeout, and I said, okay, hold it. What, what is going on? And what has happened is we got to the place where we were at, uh, at nine locations, and they, the campus pastors were real frank. They said, well, we didn't know if we had any money, and we didn't know if we had permission. And so one of the things that we did, we said, okay, we've got to change that. So within about a month, we, we put together a one-page summary. We, I, I thought it was really important to be on one page. I said, I want to, let's put on one page. Here's the things you have to do. If you do these things, you already have permission to go start a campus. And so we put that together with all our campus pastors, gave it back to the campus pastors. Here's the clear expectations. If you have those, you have permission. You don't even have to ask anymore to go start a campus. And uh, already in a year now, we're going to start uh, site number 10 in January, site number 11 in March. We've got three new locations that are in the queue for starting the city. I'd love to talk about that if you've had time. It's pretty awesome. And, uh, and then we got another one in Joliet. And then another, we're going to actually going to reproduce our senior gated community. We talked about Carol. Mm-hmm. So I think it's like six that are coming up in the next probably two years. And um, one of the things going back to the Leadership Network survey, when they did a survey of a thousand churches, everything in there was pretty much glowing that was going on with, with, with uh, multi site. But the one thing that kind of I noticed was like, uh, like man, that doesn't seem good, was, this, was that I think if I remember right, only 20% of the churches that were multi-site expected their sites to reproduce other sites. And um, I think that is crit- the critical next new way. And uh, we kind of bumped up against it, and I think we're now pushing through it. And uh, I hope everybody that's listening, if you're thinking about multi-site or going multi-site or are multi-site, you've got to figure out creative ways not only to reproduce the center, okay, where I am, but we also have to figure out how do we reproduce also at the edges by giving them clear permission to do that. And that's kind of one of the latest that's happened to us.